I just finished this app and wow, this thing is pretty cool. Check it out. It can do all these things. You have a list of cars, you have the details page, you have the edit page for the cars. Guess how long this app took me to make? 10 seconds. And that's because I used a template and we're going to talk about templates today. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of iScript Native. Today I want to talk to you about native script templates. Yeah, you can create application projects right from a template. You can actually pass the template flag to your create command, giving you the ability to scaffold out anything you want. You can start with a blank slate, you can have a side drawer in there, you can have a tab view to start with, or you can have the app that I showed as a starting template. So there's a few different ones that I want to show you. If you go to this URL right here, this is the GitHub repo for these templates, native script app templates. You can see all the different ones available right here and you can navigate to each one. So hello world is the one that I typically start with for the tutorials that I show here on this channel because it's really basic. It has some functionality built in like a button, but it's still pretty stripped down. There's also the blank one. This one has nothing in it. There's the drawer navigation, which is my favorite one that I want to start out with if I'm starting a project. But it's not very obvious how to use these templates from this documentation here. And that's what I want to show you as part of this video today. By the way, the template that I showed you in the beginning of this video is master detail with Firebase. This one right here, and it's the TypeScript template. Let's take a quick look at that code right here. So here's the code. It's a native script core project. In package.json, you will see that we have RxJS, TNS core modules. It's using SAS, we're using TSLint. So there's some pretty cool built-in workflow things in here already, like TSLint. This even shows you how to use the linter by using the script. And now, with the new Visual Studio Code updates, you can actually run your NPM scripts right here from the side menu. So I can just press this button and run my linter. Done. This also has built in list view. It has the NativeScript Firebase plugin or NativeScript plugin Firebase and the image picker. So that shows you how to use those right out of the box. It's a pretty cool example. So how do you use these templates? Well, I'm going to terminate this running app and I'm going to back up a folder here. Let me clear this out. Let's say that I was interested in using this enterprise auth template, which is uh, available in JavaScript, TypeScript, or Angular, and I wanted to use the TypeScript version. So I wanna use this template. It's called template-enterprise-auth-ts, and I wanna scaffold out my application using this template. All right, so this actually tells you how to do it, but what's not obvious is adding the tns-prefix. So let's head out here, and I'm gonna say tns create my auth app dash dash template and then tns dash and then the name of this repo sorry not the name of the repo but the name of this package which is template enterprise auth ts i'm going to just copy that right there and i'm going to paste that in it's tns dash and then the name of the template and i'm going to press enter here which will go ahead and scaffold out and create my project for me while it's doing that i'm going to fast forward this bit Okay, it's done. Let's check it out. I'm going to go in there, my auth app, and I'm going to say TNS run iOS. This is going to take a minute or so to kick up also. While it's doing that though, let's take a look at the code. So I'm going to pop open a new window here and let's take a look at Visual Studio Code. So we have a few things configured here as well. We have TSLint configured, TypeScript of course, and we have convey native script SDK configured as well, which is going to be the back end for us to use to do all the authentication authorization bits. We have the login page here, which you can take a look at to see how login is set up along with the view model. And by the way, uh, I have a course on nativescripting.com called NativeScript Enterprise Auth. You can find it on nativescripting.com and it's available right here with this little logo, NativeScript Enterprise Auth. Here's how to get started with Sidekick. This will tell you how to set up your Azure account with Active Directory and all that and how to register an enterprise application in there. Then we have OAuth 2, OpenID Connect, and finally SAML Redirect. All right, now our app should be started. And sure enough, there it is. Now we can log in. Now we do get an error here and that's because we have not set up our client ID for our Azure account or whatever account you might be using. Could be AWS, Google, whatever. Anyway. This is set up for you. You can check out the code, but you'd need to actually configure it with your client ID in order to use it. 
Now I want to show you my favorite uh, template, which is the side drawer template. A side drawer is a very common UI design pattern to use in applications and mobile applications. So that's what I like to start out with. So here's an example of template drawer navigation, and they have the Vue version as well as the JavaScript version and the Angular version for this as well. I'm gonna back up here and let's go to this terminal window. I'm gonna back out and TNS create my drawer app dash dash template TNS and then template drawer navigation TS. I'll fast forward this bit also. Okay, it's done. Let's take a look at that. I'm going to open this up in VS Code. And if we go to package.json, you'll see that we have this native script UI side drawer installed as part of the installation. We also have SAS configured for this project, which is pretty cool. And we have linting. You can take a look at how this project is set up by running it, of course. I'm going to issue the command TNS run iOS, and this will come up in a second or five, or maybe 20, surely not 40. All right, so that took about a minute, which is usually how long it takes for the project to run the first time when the Xcode project is being built. Now, Android projects take a little bit longer to build. So for me, it takes, on my machine, it takes about a minute and a half or two minutes. That's only the first time. Subsequent runs are a lot faster, of course. So check it out. There is the side drawer project right there. And we have a little button even that opens the side drawer and we can slide this out of the way or we can tap on the background to close the side drawer. So we have different pages that we can browse to here, and the pages are set up for you to fill out. You can go crazy and start your application this way and do what you need. So there you go, folks. That's how you use templates. Check them out, play with them, and let me know what you think. What's your favorite template down in the comments below. I will see you in the next video. Bye.